Today I'm going to talk to you about being too embarrassed. What do I mean about that? I mean being too embarrassed to preach God's word. That's what I mean. Well, why would you be too embarrassed to do what you're asked to do? Because I care more about what people think. That's probably why. That's probably it. Along with other things. But today we're going to talk about the topic of being too embarrassed. Which happens to be the title of this election. I am really ashamed of myself. Why? Because God has given me an important responsibility. He has given me an important job to do and I am too embarrassed. Why am I embarrassed? This is a very good subject which I am still pondering on. First of all, a lot of people that know me know that I'm a shy, sensitive person, so this may have something to do with it. Also, like other people, I am afraid. I am so afraid of the opinions of others. In my worldly views, I guess I am afraid people will criticize my work. Wait a second. My work? It's not my work, but it is the work of God. I should never be embarrassed to share God's work. Am I afraid people will say that I'm crazy? Well, technically, according to the world of psychology, I already am. Why did it take so long for me to tell my friends about the work that I was supposed to carry out for God? Why haven't I told my husband the good news? At least I told my mother, but why not my husband? Am I afraid I will lose his love? Am I trying to cling on to something that is temporarily mine? What am I afraid of? Luke chapter 8 verses 16 and 17 No man when he hath lighted a candle covereth it with a vessel or putteth under a bed but setteth it on a candlestick that they which enter may see the light. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Am I trying to hide God's word? Am I trying to keep it for myself like it is reserved just for me? No, I'm not hoarding God's word. I am afraid to give it and for that fact I am very ashamed of myself. I am afraid of the world. John 7 verse 7 The world cannot hate you, but it hateth but me it hateth, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. John 13, verse 38. Wilt thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, The cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. By not sharing God's word, am I denying it? This is a question that weighs heavy in my heart. I'm not trying to deny it. I fear the world. Isaiah 51 verse 16 And I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in a shadow of mine hand, that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth. Isaiah 51 verses 22 and 23 Thus saith the Lord, the, thy Lord, thy God, and thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people, behold, I have taken out thy hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt drink it no more. Thou shalt no more drink it again. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. Maybe like a little child, I just needed reassurance because I lacked con confidence. Exodus chapter 4 verse 1. But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. Exodus chapter 4 verse 10 and 11. O oh, my Lord, I am not eloquent. Neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech, and of a slow tongue. And the Lord saideth unto him, Who hath made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb, 
or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? In some regard, I must have doubt that I am holding on to still. John 17, verses 14 and 15. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world. Even as I am not of the world, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but thou shouldest keep them from evil. John 14, 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Perhaps I lack a measure of faith. Ephesians 3, 17. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, perhaps I needed encouragement, because there may dwell in me an element of discouragement. Proverbs 27, 18. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof, so he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. Psalm 62, 2. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. And if you go to Hebrews chapter 11, pretty much the whole thing, it talks in great detail about why you should have faith. And it tells of our forefathers before us, they had faith, not seeing God, not knowing what all was going to happen, and they still believed. They still believed in the promises of God. John seven seventeen. If any man will do his will, he shall know the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. These are wonderful points to ponder upon today. Perhaps you're coming new into the faith. Perhaps you too are embarrassed to deliver God's word. Perhaps your conscience is really bearing down on you. And you feel tormented and afflicted and scared to share the one very thing you need to come forward and share. The one thing that the devil wants you not to share. He wants us to... To go cower in a corner, the devil does. He doesn't want us to come out and expose the truth, the radiant, beautiful lot, life that he has in store for us. So let us pray today. Let us pray for one another that we may be convicted of God's love and to share that love and to spread those seeds and cultivate more seeds to grow in the garden of God. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless all the souls that have heard this testimony today and let them learn from my mistakes that they can achieve greatness in the kingdom of God. Please do not let them cower down, but build in them the very foundation of your truth and uplift them and put them on a pedestal and give them the courage and the nourishment they need to go forth and spread your words, O oh Lord. Please let your spirit come upon all of us today as we reflect these lessons, these words, and these truths. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now I hope you feel uplifted after that prayer. And I'll be back again soon. Goodbye.